What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Oh, we're back at it. The pigeon trapping has not stopped. It has actually, if it's done anything, it has picked up back here at the loft. The other day, I know I told you some of you already, right here, almost stepped on a big snake. It went in there. Long story short, it was so large, it had already feasted on all of our babies. We had four babies in there, gone. In a matter of one day's time, this guy completely wrecked all of our baby pigeons. Now, before we get to checking the trap, a couple things. I have not, uh, I've hatched a lot of babies, but they've been <coughs> ate by snakes for the last year and a half that I have lived here. Basically, we have not uh, raised a baby pigeon to full grown size, to adult status, uh, since I've lived at this new house because of snakes. Load up. Good boy. Yeah. That's the third snake I've killed. Big snake. I've killed two. My dad has killed one. Hopefully that's the end of it all. Probably not. But we're going to the rooftops. Oh, and by the way, I just sold 10 feral pigeons, which I didn't get it on video because the gentleman, he, uh, he was not too fond of being on the YouTube channel. So I was like, hey, don't worry about it. I won't film. But we got to get to the rooftop. We've had a predator getting in and out of uh, the trap, eating my pigeons as well up there. That's where we're headed. Hope you guys have been enjoying the pigeon trapping videos. If so, please smash the thumbs up button. Please subscribe because we got a lot of waterfowl hunting that's about to start mid-August, y'all. And hit that little notification bell down there because it'll notify you when I upload. A little notification will pop up on your phone and then go away. It's pretty awesome. Well, it started raining. The lens is gonna get wet, so bear with me. Oh, look at that. Ooh, we got three and a dead one. Why do we have a dead one, you ask? I don't know why we have a dead one. That's a, I haven't had that happen in a while. God, everything's either getting ate, attacked, killed, dying. Oh man, it just started raining. I'm gonna have to get some water up here. But three in the trap, two blue bars. What was the third one that is actually alive? I don't know why that little guy died. Another blue bar. Three blue bars. Really good looking birds. Not real young. Eyes look pretty adult-ish. <laughs> yeah, smash that thumbs up. Okay, before I just completely smoke the camera, I'm gonna put it down, load these birds up, and we're gonna get to the other traps where I put the trail cam. You all know I set up the trail cam. Yes, we've had three occurrences where I'm assuming a hawk or some type of predator bird gets in there. Mine may, may not even be a bird, I don't know. Whew. Well, I got witty and notice all of the puddles on the rooftop. I was able to basically just scavenge enough water to put in the water bowl off the rooftop. The one time I kind of want the predator to come and show his face on camera because we have the trail cams. Doesn't look, oh, maybe. He might have came. I don't know, but here's the trail camera. We're going to go ahead and take the card out of that bad boy. But look at my, yeah, looks, he might have came still, y'all. Got two birds in there, though. We're going to take them out, refill the water. That's a win. That's a win. We're five birds in this morning and it's raining. It feels great out. The only sucky thing is the lens. Everything else, beautiful morning. All right, here we go. What do we got? We got two wet birds. We got, first off, pretty young blue chick. Nothing too special there. Actually, I better rebate this first. Rebate there. Go. Go in there. Hit 
see it's starting to rain harder and harder. Second burn, a really wet blue bar. Good to go. No bands. <laughs> it is a lovely day. I'm so thankful we're getting all this moisture. The duck ponds are filling up as we speak. And I'm wet, but I'm not sweating my buns off. <sighs> Next day. Time to check the traps. I have really big news. I just got done uh, doing a full walkthrough at one of the coolest places on the planet. Literally, I got hired to trap pigeons at one of the, I'm pretty sure it's like eight wonders of the world. Honestly, it's gonna be crazy. I cannot wait to show you guys, but next day here we are. Oh, and look at that. We got a loner in there. That looks like a homer pigeon in there. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Not much water, it rained yesterday. Y'all were with me. This, am I just crazy? Oh wow. Uh, man, he's pretty homer-ish. Not gonna lie, long, long neck, but he's not banded. Check this out. Wow. What in the... Ah, uh, maybe not. I mean, I am crazy. His head looked a little slanted. Or, sorry, a little straight. But, no, nope. that's a good looking old blue bar, though. Look at him. We're gonna leave him in there as a bait bird. Glad we got one in the trap. He's a good looking bird. Going, buddy. With it raining yesterday, I knew we had a good chance of getting some birds today. Oh, well. I know, a lot of you guys are asking, Bob, what was on the SD card on the trail camera? Nothing, absolutely nothing. There was 2,000 pictures of the two pigeons that we trapped in there. The wet ones that we got out, that's it. And uh, some more pictures of some more pigeons. There's quite a few pigeons around the trap, but nothing with the predator yet. On that topic, a lot of y'all have been asking, where's Fred? He's always with me, look. He's always back there. He's just in the back of the truck. It's hot. He can't go up on the roofs with dad, but I've had the trail camera up there. I don't know if we're going to have another predator encounter. Let's get up there and see. I can look up there and see there's a lot of pigeons just walking around up there. So let's get up there. Oh, it's hot. Yesterday was beautiful because it was raining. I'll take the rain any day. But nothing. Nothing, nothing. I'm sure the camera is still going. Nothing is happening. Let's look in at the bait situation. It's really aided away from the doors. Well, well keep her running. Woo! Well, next day, I believe we finally have caught, hopefully, 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 number one, hopefully the SD card didn't fill up. Uh, before this happened. What a tragedy. But I think that we caught the predator. So many of y'all on the last trapping video, a lot of y'all think that a uh, raccoon is coming up on this roof. That would be crazy to me because there's not really a good way for a raccoon to get up here. But check it out. Looks like this happened pretty recently. Whatever it is, killed that pigeon, ate part of it, and then left. Ugh. Well, there we go. Hope, hopefully we got the proof in the pudding. Um, I'm gonna get rid of our casualty. Rest in peace, buddy, darn it. But hopefully we've caught what's coming up here because that could lead into a lot of other things. I believe, I believe it's a hawk. I truly believe it's a predator bird of some sort, just because I've dealt with that before. Drop a comment down below. A lot of you think it's a raccoon. But now that you've seen that, what do you think it is? Because it looks like it was on the outside of the fence. <sighs> no, we're not back home. We're at the next trap. Before we get back home, you still have to drop that comment and tell me what you believe the old predator 
is. Oh, look at that. Right on, right on, right on. Check it out. Not bad. About usual. Two birds. I am telling you what. This trap has done absolutely perfect. It's done so well all season long. Uh, right now this trap's doing a lot better than it did last year. I can tell you that for sure. Just consistently good. It always provides. Uh, just debated it. I'm going to leave those two birds in there as bait birds. Check it out. A little bit of water. A little bit. Plus, I brought two bottles of water. Instead of wasting bottles, I just reuse old bottles. But we've been getting decent rain. I didn't think we were going to have anything in there. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, the bucket, the rain catcher, is what usually fills up my water feeder. It beats wasting uh, plastic bottles, carrying up uh, more weight up and down the stairs, you know. What are you doing, man? Huh? <laughs> well, we are at the truck stop the next day. And yes, I looked at the camera footage. I know this is the moment y'all have been waiting for. And believe me, we had a dead pigeon in there. It was, it had been ate by whatever predator has been doing it. For some stupid reason, the camera stopped taking pictures at 321 pictures. But in the last 10 frames, I not only caught the predator, I believe, but got many pictures of this. Check it out. Yes, a banded homer pigeon, a double banded homer pigeon, almost going in the trap. I'm hoping that, I feel like the whole video has now redirected and now I really want to catch that homer pigeon. But check this out. Yeah, look behind the cage. That would be a cat. I believe that's a cat. And I believe that is our, in fact, predator. I, ca I couldn't believe it. I was like, I expected it to be a hawk, honestly. But that cat must be going up this ladder and then hopping up. A cat. We didn't actually like catch him in the act of eating that pigeon, but just having a cat up there like that and him checking out he was checking. Uh, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Doesn't look like it's even been touched. That banded homer was just walking around here. He stuck his head in once. Oh, that gets me going. <sighs> Didn't film up here yesterday because nothing had changed. Still the same. Uh, we haven't had any rain. Bucket's completely dry. And we still have our two bait birds in here. Now they've been up here now for two days. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them because I don't wanna keep them in there for that long. So if they're not helping the situation after two days being in there as bait birds, take them out. You know what I mean? So. A little tip guys, I, when I checked my water, uh, we're almost out. And I knew that I wasn't going to be able to make it up here tomorrow. So I, what I'm saying is I'm constantly planning around my pigeon trapping. Uh, good old looking blue check, adult bird. Man, during the pigeon hunts that we've been doing, we have not been shooting any adult pigeons they're all every one of them are young it's crazy i hope you guys have checked out the pigeon hunting if you don't like it i'm sorry but what i'm getting at with the water situation is i had two bottles of water in my bucket and i was like man i don't want to use them both but i knew if i didn't this thing would run out of water and whatever birds that might be trapped in here at that time for you know all day tomorrow may not have it so just kind of got to Plan ahead again. Good looking, really good looking blue bar, adult bird again. If you guys are liking the pigeon trapping, smash the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Uh, number two, 
the new location. Oh, I just got my new trap in. Let's go check it out. Well, 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 we are here, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. We got our two birds in our transportation trap and our new trap that's gonna go on top of the new spot. That trap is just like the one you've seen at the old spot. Big, awesome, and cost about a hundred and like 50, 170 bucks. But let's get on top of here. I really hope that we have some new signs of the predator. We still have the trail cam up there. So if there's new carnage or signs, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the card home and we'll recheck it before we close out the video because I know there's a cat up there. I know there's a cat. I just wish I had some better proof in the pudding that it's him eating it or her eating it, whatever it is. Been a lot of birds up here though. Look at them leaving as I'm getting up here. That's a good sign. Oh, that was one right there. He didn't know I was up here. Nothing in the trap. Look at that. Why? All them birds up here. Nothing. Literally nothing has changed in three days, four days. Crazy, man. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and check the trail cam one more time. You never know. Oh, well, hi there, Frederick. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? This is uh, Fred's chilling spot. Whenever I am down in the office editing, and I bet you guys seen that, uh-huh. The new Bucks Company, new big game, white tail, uh-huh. You know the deal. Look at this one. This is one of my favorites. Boom. Check out that. Uh-huh. This is another one of my favorites. Boom. Yeah, buddy. And this is one of my favorite hats. Where is it at? I don't know. That one's pretty sweet. And that one. Mm-hmm. All the Bucks gear will be dropping August 3rd. Be ready for it. It's going to be a big deal. But just looked at the card again. Yes, we had some more proof of uh, the cat. I did not have the cat eating anything or trying to attack anything. But what I did have was every single night about the same time. I forgot to look at the time, but directly in the middle of the night, every single night, that cat came up real quickly one time, uh, just enough for the camera to snap one photo of him and would check that trap on the same side every night. Never went around it, just check it and gone. Uh, I think I had like three, two or three photos that you could just see its eyes. So I do believe, I mean, indeed, that the cat, that's what's been eating these things, man. Um, it's crazy to think that, that cat, the first two times had got in the cage and the cage would be like moved five foot or something. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, it's uh, probably the last trapping video. Uh, it was crazy. I was like, how in the heck? I thought someone was up there literally messing with my trap, messing with me, you know. But subscribe if you haven't, guys. Lots of trapping to come. We got the new location. We got the new trap that I'm about to go sit today. Other than that, uh, we're getting close to the waterfowl hunting season. So if you're new to the channel and you like the pigeon trapping, we're still going to be doing them, but we're going to get into a lot of wing shooting videos. Dove, uh, a lot of pigeon hunts to come. I think I have two in the vault right now. So stay tuned. Thank you all for being here. Uh, the channel's getting ready to hit peak season with hunting being here. So just want to welcome all the newcomers, and I want to thank everyone that have always been here. Thank you guys so much. I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. I love the YouTube channel, and y'all are family to me. But until next time, that's a friend. That's a friend.